Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Veliren Mkosi. In this video, we are on part two of evolution. So in this lesson, we will be talking about the theories of Lamarck and Darwin. So these are the guys that came up with the theory of evolutions, like always. In our videos, we start with the examination guideline. So this is the guideline that's for evolution falls under paper 2 which carries 54 marks so in this video we will be looking the Lamarckism and the Darwinism so these are the theories that we will be looking in this video so Lamarck is divided into two laws so the law number one say the law of use and zeus law number two is the law of inheritance of acquired characteristics and then I will explain the reason for Lamarck theory being rejected. So now let's start with a uh, Lamarck theories. Then after I will explain the uh, Darwin theory. So with Lamarck theory. So Lamarck theory of evolution. So let's start with use and disuse. What does Lamarck say about use and the uh, disuse? Lamarck proposed that organisms develop characteristics based on their use or disuse of a certain feature. So that like this statement is telling about a uh, use and the disuse of a certain feature. So here I make an example of giraffe. You see this is giraffe and then it's not able to reach the higher branches of the tree. And then this one is able to reach the higher branches of the of the trees. So what he's saying, uh, say all giraffes they start with having short necks and then as the environment changed the trees started to grow very higher and then as they grow very high because now this giraffe wants to eat the branch which are higher as it start to stretch its neck the neck start to grow and then it grow higher so it come like this giraffe here and then this is his theory say animals acquire some characteristics while they're still alive so it's not genetically inherited so they are acquire these characteristics because now they want to use this neck and then if there is a part of the body that is not a wiki and then this part will disappear that is where he say this use is after you use it if you use it it grows it becomes strong because now you want to use it and then if you don't use it then now it start to vanish and then it's no longer growing so it disappears and then another law of inheritance of acquired characteristics this is what the Lamarck say about he said Lamarck believes that traits acquired during an organism lifetime could be passes on to its offspring so now it uh, talk about something say if this giraffe managed to grow its neck because the, the, the environment is no longer favoring the short neck giraffes this long neck then will be passed to the offspring of this giraffe this is what he say say if like you acquire something while you are still alive and then when you have the offspring then uh, your offspring will have these characteristics or these traits that you have acquired so like and for example if you are someone who like to uh, gain some muscle you like to gym and trade so if you get muscles and then the time you have kids then your kids they will have your muscle this is what he said and then it happened that uh, his theories were rejected so now this tragedy of the Marxism or rejection. So the reason why his theory was rejected is because of lack of evidence. Even as he was explaining this theory, he didn't show any scientific evidence. So that is why his uh, theories were rejected. So because there was no scientific explanation for how acquired characteristics could be inherited. So he didn't come up with a uh, a very a scientific reason to explain why he say the acquired characteristics or the acquired traits or could be passes to 
the offspring. That is why in theory it was rejected. So these are the laws of uh, Lama. So in his in his book, what he wrote, so you must know what he wrote. He say all giraffe because he uses giraffe as an example. He say all giraffe started start with having short necks, and then as the environment change, and then the tree started to grow higher. As the tree grows higher, then this giraffe now want to get the higher branches of the tree. They start to stretch their necks, and then as they keep on stretching their necks, the neck started to grow to enable this giraffe to reach higher branches. And then as this uh, neck grow, then the giraffe passes it, then they pass the neck to their offspring. That is why all giraffes have a low neck. So these are his theory, but his theory it was rejected. So now let's go to a uh, Darwin theory. So with Darwin theory of evolution by natural selection. So what Darwin believed, he believed that uh, the, the evolution is selected by nature. So it's not something that uh, you can acquire and then pass it to uh, your offspring. So this is the general view. So you must be able to, exp to explain this general theory. But during exam, you are not going to be given or the question will not ask you to explain this general theory. You will be given a scenario and then they say explain all this or explain referring to the general uh, theory. In his general, he said there is a great deal of variation amongst the offspring. Some have favorable characteristics and some do not. When there is a change in the environmental condition or if there is a competition, then organisms with characteristics which make them more suited survive, while organisms with unfavorable characteristics which make them less suited will die. The organisms that survive will reproduce and thus pass on the island for the favorable characteristics to their offspring. The next generation will therefore have higher proportion of individual with the favorable characteristics. This is his theory. So let me explain this theory in, in a simple way. So now let's say we have this number one, number two, number three. We have a bed and then we have mice. So like if you can see the color of this mice is not the same. We have a white mice and then we have black mice. So like in statement number one is say the population of mice just moved to a new area of black rocks. So now the area it's a black rocks and then a new mice just arrived. Due to natural genetic variation, some mice are black and some are red are white. So that this as you can see, some mice are black, some are, eh, are white. So this is when they say the population of variation spaces. And then the next statement say white mice are more visible to predatory birds than black and white mice are eaten more frequently than black. So as you can see now this condition is not favoring white mice. And then this mice, uh, because they are visible, this bed as they pass to this location, they see this white mice and then they eat them because they are more visible than the black mice. This is the where they say if the condition is not favoring the species and then those species then will die. But if this condition is favoring the species then the they this uh, organism they will survive and then start to reproduce. So here like the, the last one said because black mice have a higher chance of surviving because they are not visible. They reproduce and passes a gene of black mice to their offspring. So if you can see here, there is a higher number of black maces comparing to white maces. So that is where a uh, Darwin theory explained 
It's because it depends on the condition that you are in. So that is why we ended. We were having a, a group of masses, which one are white and then one are black. But at the end, we have a higher proportion of black and then a lower proportion of white. So this is his theory. So you must be able to explain this. These ones are more visible. This one are less visible. That means the ones that are less visible, the, this condition is favoring them. And now let me explain it in terms of these giraffes. Like in Darwin, when it comes to giraffe, when they say the ancestors of giraffe, they had a short neck, which is not true. They we had they were some of the giraffe they have short necks, some have a long neck. And then and then the ones with a long neck, they were able to eat the higher branch. And then the one with a short neck, there was a competition because uh, if the branch it's if or if the tree of the branch it's lower, you will find that there are many of these giraffe will try to eat this lower branch and then now the competition is high for food and then this giraffe with shorter neck they won't survive they will die of hunger and then the one the one with longer neck then if they are able to to get the branch which are high and then this one they will die and then this one with a longer neck they will reproduce and then passes the allele of longer neck to their offspring so it's, that's why you end up with giraffes with longer neck this is how you will be explained in jury examination so in jury examination you will be given a scenario they might give you beds they might give you giraffes they might give you elephant and then but they will tell you what this is lacking and what this one is having as a strong point so please make sure you explain it in the same as this examination guideline. Hopefully you have the examination guideline. So explain it the way in the examination guideline. This one, don't say the ones that are strong are surviving. Just say the ones that are suited are the ones that are surviving. They have a favorable feature. So this one have a long neck. So this long neck has is favoring this giraffe to reach the higher branches. This one with short necks is not in favor, so they will die and then they will not uh, reproduce again giraffes with short necks. But this one, because it has favorable feature, they will survive and then have offspring with this anel of long necks. So this is how you would explain. Don't say it. some are strong, some are weak or don't say the survival of the fittest. No, it's not survival of the fittest. It's the one with suited feature. They are the ones that are surviving and the ones which are not suited and then they are dying from hunger or some are visible to predators or whatever. Some they have a feature that is preventing them to eat or whatever. So this is how you will use this law during examination so i will make videos about the previous question paper you will see what how or how we, we answer question this one so if you have watched this video to this far thank you very much for watching please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so if you are studying good luck with your studies thank you very much god bless you